I'm just going through all my clips and stuff now, and I'm realizing there's certain transition pieces and just like in between clips that I forgot to record to give a bit of context on the next clip or from that clip to the next clip. So uh, if I come in and do one of these, I'm just trying to give context between certain clips so there's not some weird transition from like one day to the other. My first time doing any sort of vlog style video like this. So yeah, bear with me while I work out the kinks. I might just throw up a little title screen as well. It's not that important. Enjoy the video. Like, subscribe. Let's get it. packed up parents are heading up tomorrow night with the trailer uh, i'll be heading up thursday after work getting there thursday night and then practice on friday so yeah talk to the track let's get it all right so friday morning we're at the track we're uh registered Got the tech, helmet's good, bike pass, so we're all ready. Just mentally preparing for first practice session. You know, the stress is setting in, but yeah, just need to get the first session in and then I'm sure the nerves will calm down and yeah, see how the day goes. We just got done with the first session. As always, you know, I just say it's, it's the first session, you know, it never feels great. I always feel out of it. It takes at least two sessions to sort of get back into the feeling of it, getting loose again, fig figuring out your braking markers and all that. So yeah, first session's over. Nerves are pretty much killed. Still, still pretty anxious, but like overall we're doing pretty good now. I'll check in with you after the next session. I do think I need to be uh, a little smoother getting onto the back straight because I've had some pretty nasty uh, head shakes at the front end as I'm getting on there because I think I'm throwing my body back over onto the bike way too harsh and it's really unsettling the front end. Okay, keep an eye on that. But other than that, I think it's pretty much just pushing harder and harder everywhere else. Looking to be a promising weekend, going for that first ever podium in Vintage and uh, we'll see how we do in Lost Air and AM600. I found out that my bike has a slipper clutch in it between this round and last round. That slipper clutch is absolutely wild. It feels like a total cheat code. Going into turns, no rev matching, just smacking it through the gears. So nice, because you can focus on tipping the bike and you can focus on body position so much more than you could when you have to rev match anything. So uh, yeah. Great. We just walked out to the canopy and it's still kind of supported, but it right here. Apparently some of our neighbors came over and lifted it off the bikes. I just came in and looked. All the bikes look fine. I checked under his cover, the bike looks fine. Sadly, just the canopy broke, but told that we're not doing any qualifying today. We might get a couple practice sessions in in the afternoon, but other than that, the days are right off. So yeah, we'll see what happens. Oh my god. What? <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, the shark's
we uh, just got back from riders meeting. We decided we're gonna swap into three practices this morning instead of two to make up for the missed day of practice and racing yesterday on Saturday because of the rain. Other than that, I thought it'd be a good idea to go into a little bit about each race, race class. This is a bit more background of the actual race clips and everything. AM 600 is the hectic race. Bunch of riders, like 30 plus rider grids. super aggressive <laughs> so i'm just in that race to try and get used to being close to that many bikes reacting to other people's reactions and just racing in general uh, so far i'm placing around mid pack in that race it's hard to get used to being aggressive and trusting your passes and trusting other riders to not move out and so we're getting used to that that's what that race is for <laughs> with lost era similar grid to am 600 but it's bikes that are 15 years or older and there's allowed pros in that race uh, I'm placing around 11th, a bit more predictable riders, riders that you can trust a bit more. So when you go to put a pass on, you know they're not going to react too wild to you popping up in the inside or something. That race I find is a lot of fun. I'm excited for that race. That, one, that one's going to be good. Vintage. Vintage is the one I'm pretty excited about. It's bikes that are 20 years or older. So I'm on an 03 R6, so it just fits in. It seems like the top four are pretty close. I I finished fourth last round. I think it's starting by championship points today because we missed yesterday. So I'll be starting seventh or something. So I'm gonna have to do a little bit of work to get back up there. But looking at my times and compared to the other guys up there we got a good good chance for my first podium i'll be doing little interviews like this throughout the day just to sort of keep you guys on track uh, i'll check back in either before this practice or after the practice maybe after all the practices i don't know uh, i'll check in at some point i do just want to add i am very anxious and very nervous especially missing a whole day of racing yeah i'm gonna try and play it cool calm and collected but uh, i am very anxious very nervous especially for vintage and am6 vintage because I, i'm pushing myself to place well and am6 because it's very dangerous <laughs> so uh yeah we'll see how it goes all right it's uh about eight minutes until am600 uh my heart is racing i am very anxious yeah i haven't eaten much today but i, I can never eat on race days heart's racing i'm really nervous but uh we're gonna go out there and see what we can do let's get it back from am 600 um second time so we went out for the first time gridded up i went out well we all went out into the first turn then flipped into the left 90 and my front just washed out bike slid off on the frame sliders luckily massive puddle huge splash uh, i got soaked managed to pick the bike up roll it off a track but uh, there was another crash on the on the line actually which was a red flag for the race so everyone came back to the pits threw their warmers back on i came back threw my warmers on spoke to my dad and a few people uh, we realized that during the lunch break i actually swapped my front tire out And what we're thinking is I didn't have enough heat in the tire as I only had the warmer on for about 15 minutes ish. So that was probably why it washed out. Managed to throw the warmer on during the red flag timing. I went back out for the restart, but I just decided to start from pit lane as I, I didn't want to get in the way, especially with not trusting my tires as much. So uh, 
I started from pit lane, and just let everyone go. I went out, out, went out there, chased the back end of the guys, made up a couple places. <laughs> My main thing was just getting back on the track again before I go out there for vintage. I didn't want to end on a crash and then go back in, straight into a, an important race. So yeah, I, uh, I went back out there, just took a couple places, had a little bit of fun out there. We got a couple races next until vintage should be good. So next up is vintage. We're starting second row, left side to fourth place great positioning for this layout. I think it's going to be a super nice start. Lap times are looking very competitive. We're running, I'm running about 55s right now. I know I can dip into the 54s with a bit more trust in the bike. But yeah, it looks like the leaders of Vintage are running around 55s as well. So if I can get a good start, get up there with them, should be a lot of fun. I'm still very nervous for this race. We're hoping that we can just get out there, have a bit of fun, get off the line good, make sure it's a clean race. Yeah, just have a good time. Fingers crossed for that first podium. We're so close. One, one place is all we need, one place. Easier said than done though. I'll catch back in after the race. Wish me luck, it's gonna be fun. I was too caught up in the moment after vintage to do one of these, but we came second. So first time on the podium, it was great. The footage for that will be up. It was an awesome race, a bunch of traffic. I had to get through a bunch of people. I had a great little battle with third. Once I got past him, I was closing my distance to first, but yeah, it, it, we were close at the end. Next time is gonna be great, but yeah, it was a great race overall. So hyped with the, uh, the first time on the podium. I think we were just running around 55s, 56s. So with the traffic in there, there was no real way to get some great laps in. But yeah, great race overall. Super happy with that. Woo! Woo! <laughs>
super fun race as well. I sort of went in there just with a, a not care mentality after doing uh, vintage. I think we started 11th or something like that. Ended up getting a pretty decent launch and that was a massive grid. I think it was 11 rows, three people in each row. It was a huge, huge grid. So starting around 11th place was nice. Ended up getting caught up with this group of like seven bike. Had a whole bunch of back and forth in there. Yeah, just a great time sticking around those guys, being able to hold up with the, the faster paced people now. I think, I don't know where I finished. I think it was like 14th or something. I don't even know. But yeah, that was a great race. Lots of fun. We're just heading out to get some dinner now, hang out at the track overnight, head home tomorrow. Got all the packing done. Yeah, I got the award ceremony. There'll be videos of that. That was great. Great to be out here on the podium for the first time after our set racing here. Thank you, Thor, everyone that makes this time happen. All that's happened. Uh, thank you to my girlfriend, my parents, and everyone that helped me in the paddocks. And yeah, it's a great time. Thank you. So the uh, the award ceremony was super fun. First time being on the podium was really cool. I was mega nervous about the whole speech and everything like that. Such a good time. I love Soar. Super good family. Hopefully next time we can be fighting for that first place position. The other guys got some nice pace, so it'll be a good battle for first place next time. Same with guys, the two guys behind me, I think. They both got some great pace. So it's going to be such a great race next time. Super happy I'm, I'm racing in the vintage class now. This is the like overall inclusive video, but what I'm going to do for each individual race is I'm going to do more of like a raw footage style of just the uh, onboard footage and then try and do some voiceovers for that. Give some backstory on what I'm thinking and how the race is going. So yeah, if you want to guys, if you want to see some raw footage of like the onboard instead of just this overall video, I'll be posting those as well. And then I might just post the straight up raw footage with no voiceover just to see how you guys like it. We just uh, just packed everything up, got the tent put away, the trailer put back, all the bikes in the trailer and everything. I had our breakfast and we're about to start the trip home. A good two hours and 20 minutes. Should get there around one o'clock. So yeah, it's been a good time. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe, check out the other content, see if you like it. Let me know what you think.